Okay guys, so today we're going to make what is called paratha roti or bus up shot. So these are the ingredients that we're going to need in order to make our paratha roti. Now I don't have the traditional instruments in order to make this dish, but you know life is all about improvising. So I'm going to improvise. So for example, normally to make this you would need um, some wooden sticks which is called bilnas i don't have that but what i'm going to to use is this flat spatula that i have here and simply the back of my my spoon so i'm going to improvise you would also need something called a tower which is a flat wrong griddle Again, I don't have that, but I do have a, a small round hot plate that can go on the stove. It's very small, so obviously my paratas will be really small because, well, I don't have a tower. So I'm just gonna have to improvise. But to make the paratha roti, what we will need is three cups of flour. We're gonna need some water to knead a dough i estimate maybe a cup and three quarter but again that varies so we would need water we would need some butter normally you would use ghee but i don't have ghee so i'm just going to compromise and i have about two ounces of butter melted here we would need one tablespoon of baking powder one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar all right guys, so let's get started and put in everything together. So here we have our three cups of flour. We will add in our salt, baking powder, and sugar to that. And let's just mix. Of course, we want to make sure we wash our hands um, very well because this is something that we need to use our hands to knead. So we just mix all our dry ingredients together. And now we're gonna add our water slowly. In order to make a dough. We want a nice, moist, soft dough. All right guys, so this is our dough. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna cover it now with a damp paper towel. And we're gonna leave it to rest for about half an hour and then we'll get to the next step i did not use all the water i still have as you can see here i still have about three quarter cups of water remains so um you would just put enough water in order to bring to make your dough to get everything together so let's cover this now with a wet paper towel and leave it for to rest for about half an hour okay guys so here we have our um, damp paper towel we're just gonna rest it over our dough to keep it nice and moist okay so now our dough has been resting for about half an hour we're now gonna um, pinch it and uh, make it into smaller balls. Then we're gonna roll it out and we're gonna put the butter on it. We're gonna roll it into a cone and then leave it to rest for as long as possible. So if we need to add a little flour to our hand to prevent it from sticking, we can do that. because it is a bit sticky.
Now, because I don't have a big round um, griddle or tower, as it's called, um, I have to make my balls smaller because I just have a small uh, griddle plate in order for me to, to cook this on. So I'm going to make these small balls. Actually, what I'm going to do is make these small balls and I'm going to leave it to rest again for about 10 minutes. And then I'll come back to show you the next step. Okay, so guys, we're just gonna leave this to rest again. I'm gonna cover it with our um, damp paper towel. And we're just gonna leave it to rest for another 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come back to the next step. Okay, guys, so our dough balls have been resting for about 10, 15 minutes. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna roll out our dough. So let's just set these aside. So we're just going to flour our surface. We have our rolling pin here. Just going to roll out our dough. Alright, so that should be good there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our melted butter. And we're going to brush it on. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to make a, a slit, a cut, in the middle of the dough, coming to the end like this. All right. Now, I'm going to brush our dough with our butter. Of course, traditionally, you would use something called ghee but I don't have that I can't get that here so I'm just using butter now we won't put the butter all the way to the end here at the end here we're just gonna dust a little bit of flour and what we're gonna do is now we're gonna roll this dough into a cone so we're just gonna Go around, rolling it into a cone shape. And when we reach at the end here, we're going to take this end and we're going to tuck it inside and push it in like that. And we're going to push everything in. Push everything in like that. And then we're going to turn it over. And we're gonna press it down, and then we're gonna take our finger and just press down the middle, like that. And we're gonna leave this now to rest again. Now, we want to leave this to rest as long as possible. The longer we leave it to rest, is the more soft our paratha roti or basap shot roti will come out. So we're just gonna set this aside. Again, we'll cover it with a damp cloth and we will set it aside for as long as we can. A few hours would be best. So I'm just gonna continue rolling out the rest of the dough. dough so we're going to leave this to rest for about two hours and then we will come back we will roll them out again into a circle and then we're gonna go to the stove and cook it in our hot plate or like I said traditionally you will cook it on something called a tower which is a big wrong um, cast iron griddle and I don't have that so that's why I have to make my own smaller but I have a, a cast iron smaller plate that I'm going to use to cook my roti on. 
So let's cover this with a damp paper towel again and we're going to leave it to rest for two hours. Okay guys, so we're now going to roll out our roti. So we have our roti here. And we're just going to roll it out. Alright, this should fit on my plate. I can't go too big because my plate is not very big. But let's head over to the stove. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to brush some butter onto our plate or griddle. And now we're going to place our roti skin on our griddle. I think I made mine a little too wide. Like I said, I don't have the traditional instruments, so I have to improvise. You're also going to brush this, the top here, with some butter. Of course, if you had ghee, you would have used ghee. Alright, so at this point, as you see how it's puffing up there, we're now going to flip it. So we'll put butter on this side. And we're going to flip it again. And what we're going to do now is we want the ends to cook, so we're going to bring it together like this. So we can get the ends here to cook. Remember this, it's called bus up shot. Um, the reason why they call it that is because they actually will mash up the roti. Um, or they, this is also called paratha roti, but it got the bus up shot name because they would mash it up. Here. They would beat it, they would actually beat it, beat it mash it up. See how flaky it gets? Of course I don't have the what they call a bill now it's a wooden paddle. I don't have that so I am just improvising. Working with what I've got. <laughs> So now we're going to put this into our bowl with a, a towel so it will keep warm and get on to cooking the rest. <laughs> 